Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Discord.js uh, tutorial. In this one, we're going to be creating a way to play music in the bot. Um, people have been asking this quite a while, and I've already done a tutorial on how to get your bot to join and leave voice channels, so this is actually going to be a lot easier than trying to shove that in one video as well. Like with this, we can just um, do the music bot part, and it's all going to go well, fingers crossed. So, by the way, I'm going to do this as kind of like, you know, how to get it to join and play music, then stop it. But then in another video, if people want, I can then do more commands. So like skipping and um, making it so that they can put in just a search term rather than a URL. Um, you'll see, we'll get to it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to install the libraries. Now, I actually can't remember if I did in the last video. There's no harm in trying to do it again because, um, you know, it'll just overwrite them and update them, if anything. So you want to do npm install and then we've got YouTube download core, well, a YTDL core, that's literally just the library that lets you access YouTube. It's not the only one in existence, there are plenty. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got it open, actually. Uh, yeah, here it is. There's, there's more than this. You could go searching for different ones, but if you want to follow along, then use this one. But anyway, um, YouTube download core. And then we're also, if you put a space and another name, it does two libraries at once. It's just a, you could also put npm install save this. OpusScript is one of the things that lets you uh, use well, audio with your bot, because by default, if you try and get your bot to connect to a channel without certain libraries, uh, it will not work because it'll say, well, you don't have any way to, like if you've ever been on Skype and you've not had a microphone plugged in, you try and join a call, it won't let you, it's that kind of thing. It won't let the bot join unless it has this. So make sure you got these. There are other alternatives, but these are the mo most popular ones. Anyway, once you've installed them, you'll notice probably nothing, uh, but it means we can now use them in our uh, script. So what we want to do is we want to, in, in our main script, all we really want is to add a list. And this is optional, I guess, but um, it's going to be a global list. Um, it's going to be an object list. Basically, if you if your bot is being used in multiple servers and you have a queue of songs, you don't want people in the other servers to be able to like add to your queue and remove from your queue and stop your bot. You want it to be individual per server. Um, so what we can do is we can basically have a list of the different servers the bot's in and only refer to the one that we're currently in, which as you know, well, it'll save that whole problem of um, multiple channels accessing one thing. Basically, we need to have a list of servers, so global list of servers, and use the curly braces, these ones, um, to show that it's an object list. You'll see why later. Um, and if we go down, no, we don't want anything on here actually, we want to just go to our join channel command. If you don't have this, here it is. Though, if you watch my last video, well not last video, but the one on joining and leaving voice connection stuff, then you can just follow along from there. So what we want to do is we want to go to the bit here. I've already got it set up for checking and then joining. Um, just to show that it works, I guess I'm just go node dot, run it, go to the Discord server. This is when I was testing it before. If I do... Uh, join you must be in a voice channel if I go into a voice channel join it joins leave it leaves there you go that works um, let's disable streaming mode um, then we can stop the bot so that it just joins and leaves but it doesn't do anything when it joins so we want to add stuff here so first of all when we do the joining part we want to um, get the server ID of our current server and either add it to the list or kind of like check if it's already in the list. So if, if we are adding it, 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 this is for the whole, um, you know, stopping two servers accessing one. So if we do um, server, so that's like current server, I guess, um, it's servers um, and then it's the message that was sent and then the ID of the guild, so dot guild ID. And what we want to do is, before we actually do this, we want to basically check that. Um, we want to check if it already exists before we do this. So we'll say, ooh, see Daisy. So just before this, we'll do another if. We'll say if, um, and then not, so because if, if it doesn't exist, um, servers, now obviously it's not going to exist at the start because, well, it, it won't exist. Message.guild.id. So if the, um, if our ID basically doesn't exist in the list, then what do we want to do? We want to give it its own queue. So I'm going to say servers. Um, message. Guild. Id. Want to give it its own queue. So we'll say equals and then curly braces. 
then uh, inside the curly braces, well, I'll just do it here, we'll say Q is an empty like list of, it's going to be songs, Q's, uh, URLs, whatever. Um, so yeah, we're basically saying once it's joined, we're going to check, do we already have our own Q? If we don't, we're going to make one. And if we do, then it's fine. We're going to access that one. Server is referring to ours, our server that the message has been sent from. And then obviously this is the code that gets run when we join. So we can leave the we can leave the successfully joined one in. Or like um I'll just put like successfully added. I, I don't know, just just leave it how it is. Do what you want. Um and then now we want to basically write our own function for um want to write our own function for playing music. So we can call it play. Actually I might rename this whole thing. Nah, it's be too much effort. Um so we'll make a function called play. And it's Ooh, not that one. Um, play, and we're going to take in connection, which is well. Here is connection. That's what we called it here. Um, whatever you called this after the then is what we're going to refer to here. We also want to pass in the message that we sent. Okay, that's that. Um, we also want to. Uh, let me think. That is fine. We just want to make the function now. So if we go to the top outside the class, we can make the function play. Um, well, actually, we want to. We don't want to click. Sorry, we want to import the library first. So we'll call it. Well, as on the documentation, you know, it doesn't matter. You have to do it this way. YouTube download ytdl equals require. And if you've already done it, and you start y, it'll come up here. Ytdl core. So now we can access that. So we'll make our function play, and that's taken in connection and our message. And we're gonna say, um, well, first of all, we can console. Nah, we don't need to. Um, we'll say, what do we call it down here? Um, yeah, uh, server. Wait a second, I already. Okay, this isn't actually necessary. Uh, we already, oh no, it is because when we get server down here, um, this is never gonna be used. Uh -huh. Let me just think for one second, sorry. Um, so that's access there. So we don't actually need that here. I'm gonna leave it and just be safe. Um, I'll delete it later and check, but it should work without it. Um, so we're referring to yeah, servers message guild ID because we pass in the message here, so we don't need it down here. To be honest, it's useless. Um, and what do we want to do? We want to say well, server dot dispatcher, which is referring it's, it's all from the libraries um, and then this is how you play a video so it's connection which is referring to our connection here we've passed in dot play stream which is a function inside the library the YouTube download core library and we have to put YouTube download and then now we basically um, give it as you see here link string this is actually the URL of the video so that is server dot q because remember all servers have queues so if when we ah wait um yeah this is basically saying if we don't have a queue already we're going to give us one then otherwise it doesn't matter um here is where we um here is where we refer to the first song in the current queue because that's when we want to play and then you can actually do a uh, filter here which basically because it's uh, playing just audio from the for the music bot, we can just write what they used to. Here we go: audio, video, video, audio. There, yeah, sorry, audio, audio only, video, video only. Now we just want audio only uh, because that's all we're doing for the music bot. We just want audio. And then now we can do server dot q dot shift. So after we've started playing our song, we can basically <laughs> we don't have to care about it anymore. It's shifted it. And then we can also write function. Um, about the dispatcher and 
if you remember correctly, on the index, we have events that get called when the bot is ready, when the, someone gets added. We can actually write one here for when it the um, when the bot has finished playing songs. We can write a function for it to do when that happens. And what do we want the function to do when it's finished? We want to say um, we're going to first of all check is um, server dot q dot zero. Does do we have another song in position zero in the list? Basically, is there any more songs in the list? Um, if there is, then we're going to play. Uh, we're going to play on our connection, and let me just think. Do we really need? Uh, we do need the message to refer to this again. Um, and then, if there isn't, then we just want to uh, disconnect. So, connection dot disconnect. Oops. Connection dot disconnect. Uh, now, there's only one more thing we need to do, which is we need to make it so that when we, um, when we, let's go back to down here, when we join and we uh, play the song, um, we don't actually um, currently have a way of taking in the um, URL. Basically, like we need, we need to pass in the URL that we type. Now, the URL is uh, args. So if we go down to here before we play, um, we can say that's why we wanted um, server here. So if we have reference to the server down here, so servers message dot guild dot id. If we have uh, reference to that here, then we can say um, server dot queue. So that's the you know the list inside our server, the, our server's queue dot push, which is a JavaScript thing for basically adding to the, uh, well, here you go, appends to the array, which basically means add to the end of the array. We're going to add in our args, which is the URL of the song. And obviously, if we've now got a URL of a song in the list, we can check it up here. Now, let's go test it out. Hopefully, I haven't messed anything up. So, Discord, um, let's run the button. Then, Discord, and join and we'll take the link from my old intro and play and we get an error yay all right um leave all right what's the problem can't read property of that all mod line um 46 mm -hmm. it's because i put server not servers okay my bad with a typo there. Okay, it's ready. Uh, I'll just copy that and join with the YouTube link. There we go. It's time I for death and dino. It was a bit uh, laggy, but I mean, you've probably heard that with Discord bots before. Um, I'm not actually sure how to increase the quality or like what you need to do to make sure it gets good quality. Maybe you have to like set a bit rate or something. But as a general thing, that works fine. Obviously, like if I go onto the internet quickly and I just go grab a song, well, I'm not going to put a song because I get demonetized. Um, if I just go and like grab one of my, no, it doesn't matter. You can, I promise it works. You put join then in a URL and it'll work. Um, so yeah, um, there's not much more else to say. Like if you're, um, playing a song and you do leave then it stops obviously and it's done um, yeah so that's how you do it you can put in any song now so this video is 15 minutes what I'll do in the next one on this topic is I'll show you how to skip I'll show how to just put in search terms rather than a URL but obviously a URL will work too um, I can then also show well whatever else you want just ask um, but yeah this is a video that was requested by quite a lot of people so I'm glad that I could help those that need it um, but yeah apart from that uh, thanks for watching and goodbye